The year was 2039. A huge portal that creates radionite opened up in the sky, and people that got exposed to it got blessed with unusual feats of strength and supernatural abilities. This event was called First Light. Just imagine how pissed off you would be if you were Astra. Seeing people gain the ability to fly, teleport, produce fire from their hands, and all you can do is build a wall that blocks bullets and throw smoke grenades with your mind, which is probably less efficient than if done by hand. Like she does what a regular person could do, except she goes unconscious in the process. Anyways, as all of this is happening, we are proven that not much has changed in the last 16 years, as a company called Kingdom Corporation is born which sole purpose is to profit from Radianite. Along with them, another sub-organization was formed, called the Valorant Protocol, with Brimstone and Viper as its leaders, whose sole purpose was to keep the world safe from rogue agents like Phoenix, but sometimes they recruited them to the Protocol, for a more diverse workplace. Just 10 years after the first light, Jet is seen terrorizing the streets of Venice, out of all of the agents, Phoenix was the one sent to resolve the issue. And listen, I don't want to start any conspiracy theories, but there might have been a hidden agenda from the Valorant Protocol, by sending Phoenix on a little suicide mission, if you know what I mean. I'm not saying Brimstone is a white supremacist, but I, you never know. Anyway, after successfully blowing up Venice, Jade became the most wanted person in the world, as this little stunt made the kingdom stock plummet to the ground, compared to them, FaZe looked like a stable and growing company. The very next day, the agents assembled on the map Bind, where they found a planted spike. While Killjoy was defusing the spike, Phoenix was chasing an enemy, and that's where we came to learn that our boy Phoenix has schizophrenia, as the person that he was chasing was himself. This was the biggest Valorant lore reveal of all time. The agents weren't actually fighting each other, they were simply fighting the demons in their head. It turned out that First Light didn't actually expose people to any special abilities. It simply exposed everyone to some magic fairy dust, taking people on a never-ending high. 